Ladies and gentlemen, in the round theatre we'd like to welcome you tonight to our performance of Old Times by Molly Taylor, part of the National Theatre's Connections program. Can we ask that you turn off your phones so that you may fully enjoy tonight's performance? Because it's an illness. 
Are you an addict? I don't think so. You'd know if you were. It's your frontal lobe, isn't it? If you've managed to get through the last few years without developing any bad habits, then you'll be okay. Because you're like, developed now. Are we early? No. She's late. Did you feel bad when you got the invite? I felt bad. Why? Because I heard about Zafer and I didn't like do anything. I suppose it puts things in perspective, doesn't it? Just moving on and reconnecting. This doesn't look like an event to me. Okay. Maybe it's low key. <laughs> Emery's don't do low key. Check this out for a mad reunion. Oh, come on. Get in here, Ray. It's all my story. Some of us all camera shy now. Here she is, Stephanie Emery. What time do you call this? Hey, I'm so sorry. You okay? <laughs> Jesus, Emma. Hello, people. Stop, hey! Come in, guys. Shit, Ray. Hi. Uh -huh. Is everyone coming? <laughs> oh my God, it's making me emotional. Hey, Emma. <laughs> Good job I didn't bring the car. V. Oh my God. Did you get your braces off? No, my teeth. Uh, no, my teeth. My braces came off. They really worked, didn't they? Yeah. Getting my nose done next year. Stop it. <laughs> You look just the same. I do not. <laughs> I thought this was a big thing we were invited to. Yeah, no, it's just us. And your household happen. I can explain. Does he have insurance? What? Public liability. Well, you're a liability bound. Relax. Uh, how do you already up? Fast track? Yeah. Are you good? Yeah, well, we saw, so a lot of work. Congratulations. Thanks, but it's not a big deal. Anyway, how are you? How's your nan? Not good. Dementia. She's starting to lose it. I'm sorry. Keeps calling. Phone numbers, running up massive phone bills. You're not on sex chat lines again. <laughs> what about you, Vee? What's new? Jesus, where to start? How about you tell them about your man? What man? B has got a secret older lover. Stop <laughs> it. He's staying at yours tonight, by the way. Again? And your point is. How old is he? Old. Age is just a number. I think she's 23. And that she lives in the house share with a bunch of flatmates. They have backstories and everything. Imagination is at your age, babe. Why don't you just <laughs> move out? I thought we would have had your own private wing in the castle by now, Vee. Saving up for a nose job, isn't she? Why are you being such a cow today? I am not. You're jealous. I'm not Why jealous. jealous. I love it. I'm just sick of covering Where's you. Where's Lafer? My mum knows something's off. The other night I had to, to pretend you're in my room all night. I had to eat two dinners. Two dinners is hard. <laughs> yeah, well, the thing is, I don't like lying to you. Said the training lawyer. You need to grow up and start taking some responsibility. You sound like my dad. My dad's grown up and he's constantly lying. So, you know, cheers! Is <laughs> coming? No. No. How's he doing? Is he okay? Yeah, I mean, no, but... I saw the dad on the news about it. Oh, that, yeah. For his treatment thing? Oh, yeah, was it to go to the States or something? Yeah. Quite a PR push your family managed. Well, I mean, he's ill, so... No, it's impressive. Did, did he go? N not yet. It's complicated. Expensive. That's why we're here, right? A fundraiser. Yes and no. I, uh, I prayed for him. You prayed? Sometimes it's all we can do. That's an interesting interpretation of free will, Kobe. You're part of the Jesus Club now, Kobe. I am with God, yeah. Whoa. My nan, after everything that happened, she took me to church every day and it was either that or moving away and I didn't want to leave. No offence. No, thank you. God, we are hard there. I'm just being the devil's advocate here, but she took you to church, forced you possibly, depending on your take, when you were in a very vulnerable place. Can we just leave that, that to one side? That is why she took me. But we're so malleable at that age. You've never been malleable in your life, Belle. I feel like we're getting off the point here. No, I think it's good. I think it's... Interesting. I'm glad I've exceeded your expectations, Belle. Anyone else for any revelation? Well, actually... We should do that game! What was it? Two truths and a lie. Yes! Guys, the truth is subjective. That's how you bring them up. <laughs> Guys, shut up! I don't know what we're doing here. You, you said it was this thing for Zafer, but... 
bit triggering for me actually seeing you, so if I don't need to be. He's seen. out! Tom Joy. He is. But it's too early. I know. Hang on. Tom Joy is being released. Yeah. When? A week ago. How? I don't know. He's it's early. It is early. Five years. Four in a bed. So that's early. How many did he? Five, eight. He got eight years. How do you know this? Uh, my cousin, his mate's brother's been inside for a few years for theft or something. And yeah, he knows Tom Joy or knew of him. And he says Tom Joy's been released. He's out. And he's coming back. Here. <laughs> Started 
rotting away. And the neighbours could smell it, and he got kicked out. And that's why he's a mad truck. <laughs> Stop her! <laughs> I can't stop around speculating, because I have to go home. It's late. What themes happen my party? Um, pedos! <laughs> <laughs> when is it? Three weeks. Go ice skating. That's not a theme. But to that. My mum thinks I should do something sophisticated. Pedos in suits! <laughs> <laughs> pedos in suits on ice. <laughs> <laughs> How about a dinner party? But you have dinner every day. No, because outside like caterers, of course. My dad can eat kebabs. My 13th, I have sleepover. <laughs> yeah, but I have them all the time. When do boys get to come to sleepovers? Literally never. Okay, I've actually got that idea. No! Honest! I don't want to hear it. I vote sleepover. Okay, okay. Shut up, listen. Why don't you have a party where everyone has to come dressed up as the person they would most like to meet? Which you call that, Tom? Party from Nerco 13. Zay, I'm only 13. Can I have one day to myself and then we do yours? No. Who's older? Me. By how much? Two, Two minutes and 38 seconds. seconds. <laughs> everyone here is 13 apart from you three. Maybe a murder mystery or something. Cool, who's gonna die? Ah! She left after the court case. Maybe he wants to start again. He's not going to be able to do that, is he here? Small town like this, everybody knows who he is. He probably wouldn't last the night. He gets out, great. He gets out, he moves on, end of. Yeah, but... What? I've been getting calls for an unknown number. And? They say anything? No, but it happens most days. Any worries? Well, have you told anyone? No, it's not threatening, it's just nothing. But I wondered if you guys had had any, or anything. So, you getting in touch with Alan Blue. It's fine, it's only safer. <laughs> Dad, do me and Step have to have the same party? Of course you do, not throwing two bloody parties. Told you. Can I choose you to invite them? We'll both decide, but I'm not having the whole class like last time. Okay, just Ray. And Bella and Emma. And Kobe. And me. And Tom. No, not Tom, but he's a little shit. <laughs> don't repeat that. I don't want him on the premises. But if I don't invite him, I will be... When you get you'll to my right. age, you'll see troublemakers a mile off. But he's my friend. You just think but the sooner you ditch him, the better off you'll be. But I'm sorry, son, he's not invited. Do you want to party or not? Someone? I don't know. Started following me a couple days ago? What did he look like? I'm instantly, you idiot. <coughs> what was his name? I can't remember. 2MRO. Dot Massey. Can't attend anything from the program picture. He hasn't posted anything. He's not following me. Could be anyone. Bit of a coincidence though. Do you think you should block it? I have to say, Emma, some of this poetry stuff you post. What? Do I betray you when I turn away? Do you hate me because I cannot say? I don't know what to feel every day. I mean... That's got nothing to do with anything. Apart from the fact that it's really bad poetry. Do you think you should be putting stuff like that online? Hey, don't be a dick, send me. Hey, whatever, I'm just saying. That's if it's personal. It's got nothing so to do with it. So personal, you put it on social. Nothing to do with it. I'm just saying, you need to be careful, especially now. Seriously, think Tom would try and get in touch with us. You explain the phone calls then, and this. What did you do with the film you took? Of us outside? What? Did you post it? Well, yeah. Oh, God. What? Pissing about filming outside the front door, talking about a reunion. You're kidding. What? I didn't think I thought. So, anyone who follows you knows exactly where we are right now. I didn't think, I didn't know. So, he could be out there right now for all we know.
So I have to invite them to mine, so it's, it's just five people. But, but the cafe's massive! Yeah, but it's a rule. Sorry. Maybe one of the others won't come? If one of them can't come, can I come? It is because I've never had a party. I don't think it's wise to bring attention to it. Fine then, don't you do it. I think one all of us, so the content, multiple voice narratives or something. Even safer? No, obviously, but... I'll speak for him. 
I don't think my mum would even let me do it. You're 18 pounds, she can't <clears throat> stop you. We've already put them through so much. She's right. It's not fair on them. Screw our parents! Why can't we just let it lie? You're not the one getting threatening phone calls. I'm in. Thanks, Emma. Personally, I don't think they should ever let him out. So maybe it's our duty, our responsibility, to remind him what he was like, about the kind of kid he was. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive and you will be forgiven. Some things are unforgivable, Kobe. Look, there's every chance my life could have turned out differently. I'm not saying I was a bad kid, but yeah, I stole things. I could have got myself in trouble. We don't know what path has been laid out for us, do we? But I feel like I was saved because of some of the lessons I was able to learn. It was horrible, but it changed my life. And maybe Tom's the same. Maybe he's on a different path now. Maybe he's new. Of course he will have been changed. He'll have been given a new identity for starters. But he's not been in Sunday school the last five years, Holmes. He's been in prison. Is it fair that he's got a new identity and we haven't? He can find us, but we can't find him. Look, you're asking me to condemn him again, and I don't think I can do that. I respect that, Kobe. I must say, I thought your loyalty to us would run out over Tom, and I thought the money would come in handy, but... What money? Oh. 
the producer said they'll pay, we each get a fee for contributing. So you're saying... We profit from you. I'm saying we look after ourselves, Kobe. A bit of extra cash to help your nan. Take some pressure off. B, you can afford to move out, make the flat share a reality. God knows my family need the money. We'll never be able to undo what happened five years ago, but that's no reason to suffer more than we already have. I think we should go. What if someone saw us come in? We barricaded the door. No one's gonna find us here. <laughs> Apart from my tramp. <laughs> Look, it's just one scene and then we'll go. Who's gonna shoot it? I am. My phone is better. Really? You haven't mentioned that before. Is. Well, it's my idea. No, it's not. It's my words. Only the first bit. Scene one. You wrote that bit, right? Stop arguing and just do it. Amber, it's solid. Did you put enough glue in it? Just shake it. I can't even get it off the job. I'm gonna have to rewrite the whole scene now, Emma. Let's let's leave it. We're not leaving it. She's right. We need to get this scene done and get out. Okay, I can. Right. This is scene one table. Man found his basement, hunched over a table. Who said he? Oh come on, he's a he. I told Tom he could do it. Why? He'll make it real. I could be a mad Trump. You're directing. No, I'm directing. It's my phone. I don't care. It's my idea. And he, she, whatever, is sharp enough as knife. Do a nice close upon the knife glinting. We don't even have a knife. I thought you said it was barricaded. It was. Wait till you see this. This is next level. What is it? It's oh, intestines. Oh, oh, sick. For the scene. Where did you get it? From the butchers. This is insane. You're insane. Where on earth did you come up with these ideas? And a heart. And if it's too traumatic to talk about certain parts, then we can just say that. That's why we need to do it together, to help each other out, to share the responsibility. It'll make everything worse. How could it be worse? Because one day, maybe, we'll have kids of our own. We'll have to teach them what's right and wrong. And somewhere online, there'll be a podcast episode of the worst thing. It'll exist forever. A document of it. I don't want any kid of mine to ever know. If I have kids, I'm going to use this as an example to them. I'm going to teach my kids resilience, right? Do you remember the police interviews, Vin? Because I do. I can remember the room and the tape recorder and the way they looked at us and the feeling it was never going to end, so don't talk to me about resilience. I can't remember any of their faces, but I remember his voice. The main guy. My dad pounded go at them. Feeling so embarrassed that like he's standing up shouting and I just wanted to die. I don't remember being scared of much at that age, but when we're hauled into questioning, nobody knew a thing. Everybody looked at us like we were the experts and we were 13. For the first time in my life, I was meant to know more than the adults and that was terrifying. Hi, Dad. Whoa, calm down. What are you on about? I can't bring the car back. Because I don't have the car. Yeah, I know you needed it. That's why I didn't take it. Have you had a stroke or something? It's in the driveway. What? My car's gone. What? It was there when I left it. Yes, Dad. No, it, it's been stolen. Call the police. No, I'm with friends. Have you called the police? No, don't. <coughs> no, don't. Why? What? Do you think he's taking it? Shit. No, um, L-R-O-8-O-Z-P. Yeah, Dad, I'm positive. Definitely call the police. Definitely call the police. I don't know, half six. It was definitely there. How does he know her address? She never moved. He's got the car. He's got her car. Tom Joy is Joy riding. Dad, I don't need a bloody letter right now. Just call the police or I'll do it. I'll call the no, police. No, let him do it. No, you do it. <laughs> call me when you, yes. That car cost her eight grand. How could she afford an eight grand car? Well, when your mum runs the council. Yeah, I'm leaving soon. Okay. 
He's targeting me, right? He broke his parole. Well, you explain why my car's no longer in the sodding drive then, days after he's been released. Anyone could have taken it. Oh, really? He knows where I live. He knows where we all live. Seeking retribution this is exactly what I'm talking about, you see? What if this is, like, just the start? My car is actually my only source of freedom. He's probably on his way here. Right? Now, this is why we need to stick together. No. I, I need to leave. I wouldn't. What? Are we just going to stay here forever? It's a place where only bad things happen. And he lives there. And he's weird and evil and stinks like death. And he sets traps for you. And if he catches you, he cuts you up. He'll tear up your skin, rip out your organs, all of your insides, <coughs> and he'll eat you. Every bit of you that ever lived. Why you always gotta take it so far, Tom? Because I wanna make it good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, so I don't need to apologise. You don't need to do that, face. How's this all going? Your sister said about your treatment. Coming to America or something, that'd be cool. If it wasn't so bad. Yeah, yeah that's nothing to do with me. What do you mean? My parents make all the decisions. Why? Because I'm still a child. So? My dad, this is like, taken over his life. All this treatment, making a huge public thing about it. And that is so not me. You want to get better though. I just want to be able to make my own decisions about my body, but when it comes to my health and my blood and my treatment, I'm not in charge. So I'm just waiting until I'm old enough. And then what will you do? But at least your dad is looking after you. Mine, he just lies with affairs, gets me to lie for him, buys me vodka. I just hold it all in. Hold it, hold it, hold it. It's so good to see you guys. I've missed you guys. It's like old times, isn't it? I mean, it's not. It was easier then, wasn't it? It was easier then, it was awful. I've never been so glad to see someone in my life. We thought you were Tom. What? Tom knows we're here. He's coming. Oh, 
see how to rain. He's not well. He's not got any water. But don't crowd him. Oh, what? Can't do this. Don't so mess me. Look at me, Satan. Look at me. That's it. Are you I, okay? I told you, I'm going to sort it. You shouldn't be here, you should be at home. That's it. Nice and calm. I can't do this. What do you mean? All of this! I have treatment and I feel rotten inside. I don't even know if it's a drug anymore. Like I got sleep. Thinking about everything. Maybe I deserve to be sick. Maybe it made me ill. Maybe this is punishment. You can't be like that. I said he was a monster. No, you didn't. They did. We all did. We were kids. Go on, Safer. Tell her what you told me. Tom's a good friend of yours, isn't he? He isn't a good friend, is he, Safer? He's never been to our house or anything. Let Safer answer some questions, Sorry. please. Not a good friend, but I... I know him from school. But he was with you at the Amsterdam house that day. Yeah, he just... He just turned up. We were... We were making a film. Did he know you were making a film? Yeah. We were trying to do it, but... But he... He was getting angry because he wanted to do it. Tell her what you told me. Go on. Look. I am sorry you're ill. It must be really scary, and I'm sorry we've not been there for you properly, but we are going to help, aren't we? With your treatment or whatever you decide to do. This is the best thing we can do with the money, isn't it? Donate it to Zayn his medical bills, or I don't know, maybe you want to go on a big blowout holiday, but we use the money to do some good. What money? I think we should stop talking about his treatment. It, it's private. We could all do with the money, Val. Yes, we could spend it on something completely self-serving. Or we could do this. What money? From the podcast. I told you I'm managing this so he doesn't need to worry. We're going to go on the record. Can't you see he's already in the States? We're going to relive the whole thing on a true crime podcast for the sheer entertainment of it all. <laughs> We're going to do the podcast and we leave it there forever. And we give you the fate. What podcast? Why would we do that? That's insane. You need to be involved in this new to go home. I'll talk to you later. When did you come up with this? Just listen to me, Zayfer. You will thank me for this, okay? I'm not going home. I'm going to explain everything, but now I need no, you. No, no. Back off. Stop telling me what to do. You'll stop behaving like a child. I'm going to the police. That's what I came here to say. And it's here. Right now. I'm going to tell them what we did. Tom, keep a look out. You do it! They're totally going to be in shock there. We need to move them. Leave them. Leave them. Tom, you need to exit this costume. Where's the script? We're not using the script, are we? We're going to act it. You're not going to say anything. You're not even going to be in it. Don't move the lights! Sam, you're going to have to have the back, please. No, I'm doing it. It's mine. Hey, get on with it. Boy! I own it. Whatever. Just hurry up! Okay. Let's start. Am I in this seat or what? No, you're in the background. I'm the boss. I'm the guy. I'm the man Trump! Put this on now or we'll recast you. <laughs> Not wearing that. Stinks. Okay, can we need to do it? Give me my trunk. Okay. No way! I'm directing this first bit, Ray. Let's do a practice shot. Recording. Get in position. We should go together. All of us. No way. We're not going to We leave. have to. Look, I've got a plan. Some plan. You, you just want to control everyone. Everything. You're worse than Dad. What? He's right. You manipulated us. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm like that. You can't have a smile. I'm doing it for you. Dad has never forgiven me for not protecting you. Barely minutes older, and I'm meant to look after you. And now, you might not notice 
safer. But if you don't have cancer in our family, you're kind of irrelevant. So this is what I'm doing to sort it. Fuck off and let me do it.
bats out of prison and be okay. Mum, I don't want to answer no questions no more. Please, tell him to stop. Please, Mum, I didn't do it. I didn't. Please. You've got to let us go, Steph. Not unless we all agree we do the story. We do the story. We do it because it's the only thing we can control. Another nail in the coffin for it. Don't put your bleeding heart away, Ray. I'm over it. I have to look at his face on the front of the newspaper every day. And every time his name is mentioned in the news, I feel like I'm going to throw up. It's the end, okay? You don't get to make this decision because it affects all of us. Look, the law is messed up, Zafer. I know that. If this had happened somewhere else, maybe Tom might have had a chance. There was this case in Sweden, okay? Some kids, five years old, they kicked a girl to death. She was a friend, it was a game, it got out of hand, but the community looked after them. They protected them because it was tragic and because they were too young to know any better. But you can't take responsibility for that. It sucks for Tom because he's accountable because that's the law. I mean, Jesus, you can't even vote yet. You can't even pick the people who make the laws. It's not your fault. It's not our fault. Why can't I talk to them? You can't talk to anyone who asks for the questioning. Can I just talk to Ray or Toby or Belle or anyone? No. They'll tell you. Oh yes, they told us how you stalk them, how you harass them, how you attacked Belle last year. But I didn't. We've taken statements, Tom. Ask Zephyr. He knows me. Probably. He'll tell you. Devil Child kills local Bobby in cold blood. Real life horror movies kill child goes on rampage. Born bad. Teenage Tearaway turns to murder. What would have been worse? One life, his life ruined? Or all of us? All of us in the dark? Members of the jury, you may think that you see a naive young boy in the dock before you, but let me assure you that Tom Joy is a devious and violent criminal. It took the jury less than three hours of deliberation to return a unanimous verdict of guilty. Tom Jory sat motionless in the dock as he was in The severity of the crime you've committed belies your age. It was a heinous and hateful act of violence against an innocent man for which you will pay dearly. You've got to let us go, Steph. Suck it up and stick together, and after that, we'll never have to see each other again. But if you go to the police now, you probably wouldn't have ended up in jail anyway. And you, I'm asking you to look out for me for once in your life. Yeah, I'm coming. What? Are you okay? Okay, oh, I will. The police have found the car. It was my brother. He took it. Can he even drive? Not legally. Is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. He's probably going to get grounded for the rest of his life. And the car's fine. And he is so... No oh, sign of Tom. You could have pressed charges against my brother. So that's the mystery solved then, isn't it? Does it mean he's not out? Maybe. He's outside right now. Go on. You don't 
don't get to. I don't want to live with this anymore, Stan. Do it for me. And I don't want to die with it either. You're not going to die. I don't know what the police will do. I just need to tell them that we were there. We wiped the blood off the knife and wiped his hands and forced him to take it and hide it because we already knew. He was just a scared, sad kid and we made sure we treated him like every shit a dog had ever treated him. It was so easy. He did it. He was guilty. Yeah. We made sure of that. Don't leave me. I'm sorry. Maybe we should be Please. sorry. My parents find out I've been lying about this. Lying about everything. I am so screwed. We never should have come here. I will try to make it better. Xavier, wait! Jesus. I thought I was lucky to get me as a kid. Total freedom. Tom never had that, but we were lucky, weren't we? Where are you going? Home for us. Can I come with you? If you like. Steph, I'm freaking out here. You're just gonna sit there. 